Welcome to Steve Draws. I'm Steve, a Dutch illustrator and animator, and this is a review about the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2018, 512 gigabytes, space grey. I already own an iPad Pro 12.9 inch 512 gigabytes Wi Fi from 2017. I paint on it every day for about 10 hours a day. There's only one problem with it. Below on the screen I have some errors in the screen. I need to get those fixed by Apple, but that means that I'll lose my iPad Pro for at least 7 work days. That's not an option, because I draw and paint every day on the iPad. That's why I bought this new iPad Pro 2018, but let's first unbox it. These are the specs of the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. But let's break it down. Design. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro has the same screen size as its predecessor, but the overall size has been reduced with smaller bezels. It measures 280.6 mm by 214.9 mm and is 5.9 mm thick. This Wi-Fi version weighs 631 grams. The most significant redesign is the frame. It's not rounded, but flat. This is done for the placement of the new Apple Pencil 2 that I'll cover in another review. The iPad Pro 2018 comes in two colors, silver and space gray. There is no home button anymore, so you need to log in with Face ID. To close and open apps you need to do it with gestures. There's no headphone jack anymore. You can use your AirPods or use an USB-C headphone. You now charge your iPad Pro with USB-C. It has four audio speakers, two on each side and Bluetooth 5.0. Storage. The iPad Pro 2018 comes in four versions, 64GB, 256GB, 512GB and even 1TB. This is the 512GB version with Wi-Fi. Display. It is a 12.9 inch screen display of 2732 by 2048 pixels at 264 ppi. Apple calls it a LED liquid retina display. The screen has true tone. This means that the screen adjusts to the light conditions you are in. The screen will adjust to the surroundings, whether you're using the iPad in the daytime or at night. Pro motion is the refresh rate of your screen. A standard display has a 60 Hz refresh rate. The iPad Pro 120Hz refresh rate. This higher refresh rate is easier on your eyes and you can see that when you scroll through pages in Safari. The screen now has round corners. Camera. The iPad Pro has a 12 megapixels rear facing camera. You can record videos in 4K at 60 frames per second and in slow motion in 720p at 240 frames per second. The front facing camera is hard to find, it's hidden in the small bezel. The front camera is 7 megapixels at f2.2 and has true depth suite of sensors which enables you to log in with your face ID and use portrait mode and use emoji and memojis. Performance chipset. The iPad Pro 2018 has an A12X Bionic processor, that's the same processor that is in the iPhone X, but an even faster one. The A12X chipset has 8 CPU cores, so it can support up to 8 threads without having to resort to time slicing the processing time. Price. The iPad Pro 2018 are more expensive than last year. 
Let's take a look at the Wi-Fi models. For this video, I'll do a comparison with the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 512 gigabytes 2017. The best way to test the performance is by painting with a big brush in Procreate. I'm using my finger on both iPads. We're going to test the new A12X Bionic chip. Let's watch this in slow motion. The iPad Pro 2018 is faster in its performance, but it's only noticeable when you record it in slow motion at 240 frames per second. Pros and Cons Pros The iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2018 has a faster processor, smaller bezels, you can stick the Apple Pencil 2 on top of your iPad and charge it. You can now connect a 5K screen through your USB-C connector. You can connect USB card readers and thumb drives. Cons When you draw on the iPad Pro and want to hold the iPad, the bezels are too small. You easily will smudge your painting when you're in a painting app. When you want to close an app, you have to use the swipe up gesture. When you're in a drawing app, you'll probably ruin your painting. The old Apple Pencil is not compatible with this iPad Pro. You need to buy the Apple Pencil too. You have to buy new connectors and earphones for the USB-C connector. You cannot back up or upload work files to the iPad Pro 2018. Only videos and photos. Overall, this new iPad Pro 2018 has a better performance than the 2017 version. But if you already have the iPad Pro from 2017, I wouldn't recommend buying the 2018 version. There are just too many cons. Apple sold this iPad with the promise that it would replace your computer. But there are just too many things you cannot do on the iPad. You're still working in iOS. You cannot open zip files or you need an external app for that. You cannot upload work files, only photos and videos. And external hard drives are not supported. However, if you want to upgrade from an iPad to an iPad Pro or want to start out with an iPad Pro, this will be the best iPad Pro so far. In the next video, I'll do a review about the Apple Pencil 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.